Stun you. So I got a lot of influence for this specific deck from BBG. I also had checked out Mogwai's list as well and figured that they were both kind of like very different in their niches. And I kind of leaned a little bit more towards BBG's. It's essentially the same list, but. So I could get a punished by recall here, but I think I should still go for the flock. Because this could be a little bit of a threat. But I think what the biggest threat in this game would be is uh, the Will of Ionia against our Lee Sin. I'm still going to go for the flock now though. Because at worst he like retreats it and commits a lot of mana. I guess now he can't really save it. He can still retreat it but he can't recall it so this is probably a victory for me. I decided to keep the sentry plus the uh, ravenous flock in case of like a tempo Ezreal coming down. Uh, I don't think we need to start playing super aggressive here. I can consider doing something like Draven, kind of getting chomped out by... Get excited, so I think Shadow Assassin, just to kind of suckle through a deck and keep the moment momentum flowing. You may not have a way to deal with it either. I think I'm happy to like swing. He may have an answer to this, but I think that's okay. Like a static shock. So then I'll play the Eye of the Dragon. Just being mana efficient. Oh, sorry, I can't play it. No worries. I guess I'll play one of the Dravens. Probably gets eaten. I would never deny this, would I? Maybe I would. 
It achieves quite a lot for uh, tempo. Sure. I think I'll be developing this turn. I wonder if there's ever a world where I play Eye the Dragon to kind of set up for a transfusion to protect Draven. Sure. I'm probably not playing fast enough. There's Lee Sin. Really using this transition just to kind of start buffing up Lee Sin. And I'm gonna throw down an extra I have a tune, uh sorry, I have the dragon. So I may just kind of throw out a spinning axe. Why would I do that? Pretty good open attack. This is good. You cannot escape. The order rewards its fate. Clear your head. Let your instinct. Guess we're chilling for now. We may we may even kill him without the lease in. I wanna see him commit like sentimental manner. That's enough for me, I think. I'll play Lee Sin. Great top deck. Deny, very good. The dragon spirit yeah, I think, I wonder, who do I drag down here? Realistically, it should be, um... Just swing with everything. So this deny should help us to achieve something here. The double denies kind of make things a little bit weird.
Well, the knight doesn't do enough here. Pretty sure I go for the flock here. You'd actually deny that? Okay, fair enough. in could be something it gives me like a way to like be productive on this turn and then he could possibly deny it is Ezreal's not leveled yet I think I go for this so unless these like last card is deny this just Just sticks it in him. Get him, boy. And if his last card's denied, then I'm in a great spot. Because coming back into my turn, I can just kick him. I need to get <laughs> I need to get the kicks. I thank you, Dragon. I need to get the kicks so I can show it in the gameplay. Disgusting rank. But yeah, I think including the Arachnoid Sentry plus the Stun card, the Ravenous Flock, is a very good addition to a, a Lee Sin deck. Personally, I find this list particularly quite powerful. And we've gone up to two Deniers, Triple Will of Ionia. Some lists are the other way around. Deep Med's pretty necessary. Love of the Concussive Palm as well, since we do run the multiple con uh, Ravenous Flocks. I think that's the only time you really find that much value with Ravenous Flock. They won't usually block your stuff. If they do, you can get them with that too. Cool list.